Hey Brick fans, this is Dave with another Super Mario Maker video. Today I'm showing you my level Minecraft 1-3, The Farm. This is a 100 coin challenge, meaning there are exactly 100 coins in this level uh, to collect. Um, so that can be a fun way to play this level, uh, trying to get all 100 coins. Some of them are a little sneaky, um, so it will take some patience. So I'm going to show you exactly how to get 100 coins. But if you want to try to play through this level on your own and figure it out, um, you can go play it now by using the bookmark link or course ID in the video description. You may have previously seen my levels 1-1, Hills, which focused on breaking through blocks, and my level 1-2, Cave, which focused on stacking up blocks and exploration. All right, so let's start playing the farm level. So actually you get your first coin without even trying. Get it from that very first moment you enter the level. A few more down here. And just a little sign here to remind you that there are 100 coins in this level. Uh, I took a lot of time here kind of making this uh, look like sky and a tree outside. But then when you go through the pipe, you're outside and it looks the same and the inside looks the same. So that was a fun little aesthetic touch I had there break some wood and get our mushroom, aka pickaxe, or just tallness. Uh, there's some red coins in this level, or pink coins, technically. Um, it's really easy to actually just run through this whole level real quick. Uh, here's our little irrigation system over here and some wheat that we collected. Um, this level I really wanted to focus around growing, since it is a farm. So there's these note blocks that have the piranha plant creepers in them, which you can use to climb up. And if you remember our trick from level one about breaking blocks, you can do that here. And then these creepers can grow up even taller, and we can get another pink coin, as well as some coins. Some more wheat. Here's a little house. Let's see what's inside the house. Uh, there's a bed here, so you can save your progress go to sleep, wake up there in the morning. Uh, there's also a little chest over here with a one-up mushroom inside of it. So this, I made the creeper challenge here a little bit harder, um, but of course you could always break these to make it so the next creeper will definitely go through. Uh, and I'm saying creeper because that's what some people call the Mario enemy uh, vine thingy, though obviously creeper has very different connotations in Minecraft. Uh, so this is supposed to be a little chicken farm here. So these little cloud box that maca at you when you jump on them. And these were supposed to be little like fences here, keeping them in. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and just go to the end of the level. So you can just run all the way to the right here and just be done with the level. I really wanted this level to be a non-difficult one because, you know, the farming section of Minecraft is totally non-confrontational. There's no enemies really, uh, and you can spend as long as you want just planting and having a good time. Um, so that's why I made it really easy to just kind of blow through this level if that's what you want to do. Uh, Let's go see what's down here. So this part's a little tricky. Here you need to activate the vines from below. The nice thing is once you've gotten to a certain height there, you can just go horizontally. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Oh, wow. Uh, I totally set myself up to die there. Uh, all right, well now I have no coins, so I have to start all over collecting for 100. <laughs> oh, geez, I really uh, messed that up, didn't I? All right. Go back here. Uh, Let's show you what's on the other side of this level over here. So 
there's a bouncy thing there. And this is just like a little water slide area with water bl ice blocks, kind of representing flowing water here. Get this pink coin over here, some coins behind the waterfall. I guess I have a history with making sections with vines and note blocks harder than they should be, perhaps. I did that in my Super Mario 64 2D series as well. Maybe I should just stop using vines and note blocks. Now we get the last pink coin, so we've got a key, and conveniently, the locked door is right over here. Takes us to the other checkpoint, and a Yoshi! Slash horse. Uh, I like Yoshi's being the secret. I had fun recreating a little sideways Yoshi egg here. Pixel art thing. Uh, we've got another one-up mushroom in a chest. Um, so something might not be super apparent here is that if you hop off Yoshi, Yoshi falls down and goes through the bumper and hits the note block, making the vine grow. So that is a little trick. Yoshi can go through bumpers even though Mario can't. And here we see there's a coin behind the waterfall which Yoshi can eat. And there's a platform on top of the waterfall, and that will now bring Yoshi and Mario up. And if we apply those learnings to the level, we realize we can go back to the very beginning of the level and eat these coins that are on the tracks here. only be a few more coins left. And if we remember there was a platform on top of the waterfall inside, we realized there might be one here too. And I'm missing a few coins. Alright, where are the other ten coins that I forgot? Um, so this is the secret entrance to the good exit of the level. Do, 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 do. Up here, are they? Ah, yes. The other thing about these vines is that if you mess them up growing the first time, you can always come back and reset them by going through a pipe or a door, which there are several of. Didn't like forget to get these, did I? Seven coins. This is really mysterious. <laughs> uh, you think I'd be better at my own level? How many times have I said that in this video? <laughs> uh, where did I hide those coins? Oh, I remember. I think. This thing. 
which we saw underground when we got Yoshi the first time. Forgot there was one over here too. Uh, all right, two more coins. Where could they be? Okay, I figured it out. So apparently, uh, because the checkpoints save how many pink coins you found uh, and take those out of the level, uh, if you find pink coins, save at a checkpoint, and then find all the coins left in the level, however many pink coins you started with, you will be short because you will not collect those after going through the checkpoint. So for instance, I had two pink coins when I hit the checkpoint. So when I restarted, it already counted those, but it doesn't add to your coin count. So the highest it was possible for me to get from there was 98, not 100, uh, which just seems like a kind of flaw in the 100 coin challenge uh, with checkpoints, which I did not realize until right now as I'm filming this video. So I am quite embarrassed because uh, that was all the coins, but it wasn't a hundred, uh, which can, could be confusing for other players. So my apologies if that happened to you or if it happens to you in the future. Um, I think we all learned something today. Ninety-nine and one hundred. See, it wasn't a lie. It's really possible. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this level uh, with its little quirks and flaws. Uh, definitely different than your normal Mario Maker level in that there's no enemies. It's all about exploration, getting a hundred coins, and a frustrating vine section and whatnot. Um, I haven't yet made the fourth level that I want to make for my Minecraft series. The level I'm imagining is going to be a mine and all about mine carts and uh, confusing exploration. So don't know when I'll make that, but uh, hopefully at some point while well, Mario Maker is still around before the Switch comes out and nobody plays Wii U anymore. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to Brick101, and check out all my other Mario Maker videos.